be very honored and humbled to have met you in this way. Thank you very much. A few people said today it was patience and, and the kind of man he was to, and uh, to spend time with. And I remember as a student really looking forward to coming and it was as much to spend time with him as it was to, I think, uh, learn the instrument. And you know, I had obviously had an interest in it and, and, and uh, I enjoyed it, but looked forward to the times just spending with, with Ben and actually, you know, I saw Bernard today and spent a lot of time with, you know, my dad and my mom would come as well and they'd stay inside, have a bite to eat while we were outside playing street hockey and things like that. So um, uh, just a lot of good memories and, uh, and things like patience and I think it was mentioned today and uh, attention to doing things right. It's hard to say. I have asked him and I and it seems like he's always just been drawn to it because it wasn't in his family and it wasn't valued in his family because they weren't wealthy enough, I think, to have pursuits like art and music. And it seems like he was born with it, but I, every time that he met someone that played guitar or encountered music, he was he gravitated towards that and, um, and nurtured his own creativity. That's what it seems like to me. I always thought that music was an interesting commodity. It was something where you could get to your soul, your feelings, and it was something that nobody could take away and you could spend time expressing yourself with it. Ben has definitely had a major impact on our community. I do, I really believe that music before Ben came in was not as important a thing for the Mennonite culture as it has become after Ben's teaching and influence.